Okay, you alien scum. Everybody get up against the wall. This is a raid. You what? Oh god, sorry. I blanked out. I was meant to like summarize that and like read what he was saying and I completely blanked out. That's how we deal with smart mouth aliens. I forgot that I was recording it. Get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. Hey, what's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? Maybe. fugitives. Attack. How do you know that? Calf, you told me they wouldn't notice us. Oh, there's battle droids straight away. I said that we weren't going to be fighting battle droids. <laughs> I have lied to us all. Um, it's fine. There's only two of them. Leave that, uh... What's he called? Leave the thing alone. <laughs> Duros. Leave the Duros alone. Poor Zigil. He should never have talked back to that Sith. Thankfully, you were here to step in and help us, human. This isn't the first time the Sith have come in here to cause trouble for us, but hopefully it will be the last. Um, I'm just glad I could help. Stay out of my way or I'll kill you too. Forgive me, human. I only wanted to thank you. I meant no harm. I will leave you in peace. Don't worry about the bodies. Uh, I will move them as if they were killed somewhere else. We're only a look, they won't be bothering us again for a while. I'm probably going to get told off by Calf a lot for being a knob, uh, but that's fine. We don't really care what Calf thinks. Uh, right, so I want to put some more into computer use. And a little bit into repair. We get another feat, which is nice. A feat. A little feature. What do we want? Maybe a sniper shot. There we go. And then we can go back to using um, the blaster pistol. Oh, we've got a uh, backpack on the floor there. Oh, a blaster rifle. That's what I want. Uh, that's what I wanted. When I was like looking through my weapons. I was like, I'm sure I should have got a blaster rifle at some stage by now. No problem. Kui, let me in. Can we actually get in here? Oh yeah, we can. We can. It's just gonna take us a little bit of a while. What? Calf, do you want to? Uh, do you want to join in, mate? There we go. Oh, is this about Holden? Fickety fick fick ficky. Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's Good old ficky home. Holden. That's a Red Dwarf reference for you. Uh, I'm just looking for something to steal. Stay out my way and you won't get hurt. You're as bad as that pig Holden. I'll stay out of your way, but you're wasting your time. I don't have anything worth stealing. I don't have anything worth stealing. You again. Why do you keep bothering me? Um... I want to I ask you some questions. Since this thing with Holden, I've been scared to leave my apartment. I don't know anything about what's going on in the outside world anymore. Holden? Who's that? Who's fickety fick fick ficky Holden? Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. Well, I mean, you did twat him with your, with your sword. But I suppose if he was getting a bit handsy, I can... I can let it slide, what do you mean? Uh, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. You can trust me. Maybe I can help. Well, I suppose you seem like an alright sort. When I cut Holden, it made him back off. But it also embarrassed him in front of his friends. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on Is my it? head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out Holden's here. a spiteful little hut slug. <laughs> a little butt slug. Lovely. Hut slug, butt plug. What difference is there nowadays? Um, I mean, that's... I think I'll just collect the bounty on your head. Wait, think about what you're doing. If that pig had just kept his hands to himself, I wouldn't have had to give him that scar with my vibroblade. He gets drunk and tries to force himself on me, and I get a bounty put on my head for defending myself. Where's the justice There in is that? no justice. Holden's the one to blame, not me. I am a nasty man. I don't care about justice, I just want the credits. What's wrong with you? She doesn't deserve Shut this. up, calf. Um. She sliced that guy up. She's only getting what she deserves. Then you're going to learn the same lesson I taught Holden. I'm not as helpless as I look. I'm literally holding a gun. I, I thought I was going to get her in one blast. I bet Calf does the fucking... There we go. Calf does the fucking death blow. You're a hypocrite, Calf. A fucking dirty hypocrite. Now let's see what she had in her bag. 
five credits, that's all she had. Oh. I don't know why it lets you reopen those, I hate that. <laughs> fucking calf, you're just as bad as me. Oh, I fucking knew he was going to talk to me. I tried to back away at the last minute. Piss off, Larry. I don't care what your name is. I will literally shoot you, calf. I don't need you. Larry, I already know. Go away. No, 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 no. Stop speaking. Um, I'll be going. I don't need one of your shields. I can get my own. I'm not wasting money on one of your shitty, cheap-ass shields. No problem. Got it. Hello, Twi'lek. Stealing all your credits. Stealing all your credits. Stealing all your credits to the upper city. Oh, there's a Quarren over there. Look at that big bastard. Oh, my God. No problem. Got it. He's a beautiful man, if ever I've seen one. More credits and computer spikes. Hello, Mr. Quarren. <laughs> oh, dear. I tell you what, the uh, the loading times on this game are surprisingly quite good. They never used to be. They used to be horrendous, but I'm guessing with it being on Xbox One, I suppose it's like just loading up a fucking, like an indie game, like a platformer or something. Um, right, so this is Taris. We've got lovely Taris. You can actually go into first person in this game. You can't move, um, but you can go into first person by clicking down the right thumbstick, which is nice. It's going to be very lovely for um, thumbnails, <laughs> of course. So, we need to find our way into the lower city, I think it was. And to do so, we're going to need some armour. I don't care. Um... Yeah, we'll speak to Calf later. He's just been a little bitch about stuff. So, we need to get some Sif armor, and we can get some Sif armor by going to the canteen, which is this place over here. The cantina. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Garuk. Hello, Garuk. Sana. Hi there. I haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers from the military base much time off. Um, you're from the military base. You don't like one of the Sith. I'm off duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Sana, junior officer, first class with the Sith occupation force. Oh yeah. Uh, I. Oh, nice to meet you, Sana. My name is Dig of Cards, <laughs> in a very racist South African accent. Dig of Cards. I will show you the way. Um. I'm actually a little surprised you're talking to me at all. Most of the people here on Taris can't stand us Sith. We can make this job pretty lonely. Hey, a job's a job, okay? You're just doing your job, right? I don't hold that against you. Save the sympathetic best friend act. I'm not buying it. But I don't oh. want to fill out a bunch of paperwork on my That was very out, violent. So just pretend this conversation never happened. Now move along. No, 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 no. Back again? Didn't I make myself clear enough? The senior Sith officers don't like us fraternizing with the locals. Besides, I don't need you lecturing me for my career choice. I wasn't. Uh, You seem pretty touchy about this. Maybe you feel a little guilty about what you do. Don't try to analyse me. I'm just doing my job. Same as any other soldier in any other army. Besides, I don't have to explain myself to you. I'd prefer I prefer if you didn't. I don't much else to say to each other. Let's just keep this civil and go our separate ways, okay? No, 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 no. Back again? Didn't I make myself... Uh, I'm... Look, I'm not trying to judge you. It's okay. I might have overacted a bit. A bit? Can you blame me? Everywhere I look, I see one of you Teresians glaring at me with hate in your eyes. Uh, I'm actually not from Taris. I'm just stuck here until the quarantine ends. You're an off-worlder. <laughs> I figured you'd be even more angry being stuck on a foreign planet and all. I mean, they speak English, um, so there's no language barriers, apart from, you know, the Aphorians and the Quarians and... Quarians? Quarians and what have you. Um, and I have a gun. So, no worry about being on a foreign planet. Uh, I am a wizard with languages, apparently. Being stuck in Taris isn't so bad, but the locals aren't much fun. You know, it's like everyone on this backwater planet is in a permanent bad mood. Don't they know we have to make the best of things? You've got a pretty positive attitude. 
Everyone has their ups and downs. It's how you deal with them that counts. Exactly. It's all about attitude. It's all you about attitude. Plan, oh, it's all about the attitude. It's easy to get depressed on an assignment like this, but we do what we can to keep our spirits up. Exactly. Raise your spirits up. Get them up in the air. Wave them about. You need to blow off steam once in a while. That's true. It's nice to meet someone who understands what I'm going through. It's good to talk about this stuff. It gets pretty lonely up at the military base. I bet I it have does. To get going soon. I've got a shift at the military base. I've got a shift at the military base. The officers are having a party tonight to blow off some steam. I'd really like to see you again. Oh. Why don't you drop by the party? I'll show oh, you where it Sana. is. Oh, Sana. Yes, please dot it on my map. Sounds good. I'll be don't there. Don't be late. We're starting right after our shifts end. Most of us won't even be going. Oh, right after our shifts end. <laughs> <laughs> it genuinely sounds like that. She just completely leaves out the F whenever she says shifts. Oh, as soon as our shits have ended, I'll sort myself out. Um, so. Something else that you can do is... Is there a... Yes, so that in there is the arena. I'm not going to go in. Um, because that's for future, future content. <laughs> I just want to get my Sif armor and what have you and get on the way. But you can also play Pazark, which is like the in-game card game. Uh, I have no idea how you actually play it. So, I'm not going to attempt to, but it's a little bit like Caravan from Fallout New Vegas. It's the same sort of in-game concept. Like an early version of Gwent. Uh, just very, very dimmed down. But that's like a full-scale game inside of the already pre-existing game. That you can go ahead and explore if you like. You might like it. Um, I think there's an actual, like, real version of it, which is pretty cool. Uh, but now we've got to go to the actual party, which should be in this apartment block over here, where this old man is getting harassed, and we're not going to help him. Davik Hello. Says you missed your last payment. <laughs> Davik doesn't oh, like you missing you. payments. Here, I I've got fifty credits. A down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Oh, calf just ported in. Or nothing. David can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? <laughs> That's too bad, bitch. David's going to want to make an example of you. You're coming with us. No, oh, help! Somebody help! Somebody! They're going to kill me! They're going to kill me. Oh! Are we gonna just let them drag He's very it frantic on? voice. Hold yes. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. <laughs> I mean, you'll <laughs> that woman, that woman right there was stood next to Calf watching. Just look, we've got a witness. Quickly turn around and walk away. Uh, leave this man alone. I better. I don't like your attitude. Okay, yeah, I'm fine with you hus hustling the man, but I don't like you. Guess we have to teach you to mind your own business. Sure. Power blast! I've missed. <laughs> Sniper shot straight to the head. I've hit the wrong person, and again, calf stealing the kills. I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. All right. Me not to take a loan from good old Patrick Stewart, no, but with a little bit it's of hair. Good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. Hand over all your credits if you want to live. Are you joking? We don't need this guy's credits. <laughs> Just go on. We were happy to help. I'm getting out of here before any more of Davik's goons show up. I fucking you hate him. You're such a piece of shit, Calf. We could have gotten some credits then. You bastard. Are we going? Are we going dark? Oh, I've switched it wrong person. No, we're not going that dark. That's a shame. There's a medical facility here. Hello. Now, he should have some soldiers. Back here. Oh. No problem. Got it. There we go. What are you doing? Don't go in there. That door is for employees only. I am an employee. Uh, hey, I recognise these men. They're Republic soldiers. Y you recognise these soldiers? But how? Uh, unless... Unless you're a friend of the Republic. Or an enemy. Uh, either tell me what's going on, or you can explain it to the Sith. What? No, you don't tell the Sith. Please, I, I can explain all this. Since the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash-landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. 
And at least here, they're hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. I hate to imagine what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial question, the Sith have not returned. They would bum them. So it may be my favorite. Right in the bum hole. As opposed to, you know, somewhere else that you can bum somebody. Um, it's going to cost you if you want me to keep this information secret. No, it's not. The oh. Sith would torture men like these or worse. And you're not threatening this man while I'm present. Well, fuck off. I don't take orders from you. I have a Zelka pays up or I tell the Sith. Fine. Take these credits to seal your tongue, then leave this place. I don't want to have anything to do with a monster like you. Well, I understand some extra credits might help us in our mission, but I don't approve of your methods. Zelka's a good man. You shouldn't have done that. You I can ask credits, for your opinion. Show yourself out. You're no longer welcome here. I don't want to be here anyway. It smells bad. I want to speak to Gurney. Can't you see I'm busy with my duties? Go talk to Zelka if you need I think something. that's a completely unique voice. <laughs> Can't you see I'm busy with my duties? Oh god, there's some remains that we missed. Credits! Oh my god, loads of credits! So we made it into the the upper the upper terrace apartment area place where the party's meant to be happening. No problem. We've just got to find got it. it. Oh hello, Largo. Please, please don't hurt me. Oh, we're gonna have you fun with this one. Me? I'll have to money if he if he just gives me a little more time. Please, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I've got fifty credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding, okay? I'm begging you. Um, give me the credits and I won't tell Davik you're hiding here. Here, take the credits. But please, just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding. He'll kill me if he finds me. I know we might need credits, but there's Ugh. got to be a better way to get them than this. You've got to go. I can't have you with me. <laughs> you're doing my head in. Can we get Zalzabar? Zalzabar's... A cool ass character and I can't wait to get him all right let's find this party I think this is it up here oh no just an open an open room with an open foot locker in that's weird what's that oh they're like little cans little food cans cans of food Hello, Sif. Where are you? Are thou here? What are these open rooms? Are they like all the other Sifs? They've like... Oh, yeah, mate. We're all gonna go for a party down fucking road. We get fucking smashed, mate. Oh, here we go. Hello, Sana. You right? <laughs> Sorry, this is all for thumbnails. Hey, you made it. I was beginning to wonder if you were going to show. The party's in full swing. Come on in. You Hello. have to try this Teresian ale. It's fantastic. We should have conquered this planet ages ago. Careful, Sana. That wine's got quite the kick. A couple more bottles and we'll all be passed out on the floor. Who cares? We're not on duty tomorrow. Let's live a little. Come on, drink up. There's so many, like, British people. But what sounds like British anyway? Right, shall we take uh, pretty much everything that we can? Sif backpack, Sif armor. Now, I don't think that there's any way at all that you can keep this Sif armor. Unfortunately, it's such cool armor. Um, but I don't believe that you can keep it. The plus side is uh, you can actually interact with people completely differently. There's like whole new conversations and stuff. Um, so if we were to go find Largo, which I'll go do now, he will have a completely different conversation with me because I'm wearing a Sith uniform. Did we kill Largo? I don't, I don't feel like we... Oh god, those buildings out there are tiny. I don't feel like we killed Largo. There he is. You're... you're with the Sith, ain't you? Oh, sure. I, I recognize the uniform. What do you want? I haven't done anything wrong. If you want to search the place, go ahead. I won't stop you. I've got nothing to hide from you. So, him along with 
pretty much absolutely ev like everybody else um, will have like unique dialogue and stuff because I'm now wearing a Sith uniform, which I actually think is pretty cool. No problem. Got it. Oh, hello. There we go. Take some lovely more credits, and then we can leave. I believe. So we are now going to go to the Undercity elevator. We can, we can also talk to these drunk men and uh, they'll react because we are Sif, which is cool. Ooh, hey, look at this. It's the Sif. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so scared. <laughs> Careful. Don't do anything stupid. We don't have no trouble with the Sif. Oh, yeah. You're right. <laughs> Sorry about this, Shithy. <laughs> Come on, fellas, let's go. Now, usually, you can speak to those guys, and they usually just, like, I think they congregate over there, over in the distance somewhere. Um, I can't remember if you can speak to them again or not. You can interact with these guys here, but I don't know what they do when a Sith approaches. The enemy is here. Oh. We must act now. Greetings, my Sith friends. Rest assured, I have all the proper permits to be here, spreading my message. Feel free to stay and listen if you wish. You'll find my message most enlightening. He's like the fucking... The dude from Skyrim that's... Rise up! Rise! Like, uh, Heimsker, I think his name is. Right, so this is the elevator that takes us into the Undercity. If we speak to the Sith guard, he should Another let us in. Another heading down to the lower city, eh? Well, good luck. I've heard it's pretty rough down there. There's a big swoop gang war going on, you know. You better watch yourself. Those gangs will take a shot at anyone, even us. It's too bad we don't have the manpower just to sweep those slums clean. You'll be surprised. <laughs> uh, you'll be surprised how many one man can kill. Uh, let me just check the armor rating. So that gives me a defense bonus of 2. And then a plus 8. And then that gives me... Oh my god, a 4 and a plus 5. So that's 10, oh right, and that's 9, so it does one better than the combat suit, so we'll probably keep this Sif armor on. Right, let's go into the, into the lower city.